Did you know that eating nuts can help soothe and reduce inflammation? I've got a nutty and fun recipe for you today. Stay tuned. Hi there, my name is Katrina. Welcome to the Organics channel, where we make eating healthy, easy, and delicious. Today, we will be making no-bake nutty fudge energy bars. If you want a printable version of this recipe, it's included at the end of this video. Let's get started. In your food processor, combine one cup of pitted dates, which are an excellent natural sweetener. They're often referred to as nature's candy. It also is going to help bind all of these ingredients together since they're really sticky in consistency. Combine one quarter cup of raw walnuts, which are high in antioxidants. Add one quarter cup of raw pecans. You'll notice that I'm using all raw nuts in this recipe. And when you use the raw nuts, that allows all of the nutrients and the enzymes to stay intact because we haven't cooked them out. Last, add one half cup of raw cashews. As a side note, if you want to make these nuts even more uh, digestible, go ahead and soak them first. Add your lid and process all of the ingredients up, but not too much. You still want to leave it a little bit chunky. First, begin by pulsing a few times and then let the food processor run. Now add one quarter cup of unsweetened shredded coconut, which is great for your digestion. Add one tablespoon of chia seeds for those omega-3 fatty acids that are so important for your brain function. Three tablespoons of raw cacao powder, rich in magnesium, because again, this has not been processed or cooked. It's still in its raw form. One tablespoon of melted coconut oil. If you live in hot weather like I do in Austin, it's probably already melted. Two teaspoons of vanilla extract. Add your lid again. And process this up until it begins to clump together. If it's not doing that, then just go ahead and add a little bit of water until you see it starting to stick together. Last, let's add one quarter cup of Guji berries, which are a superfood. They are super high in antioxidants. Add your lid one more time and pulse it up just a few times to combine the berries into the mixture. Take an eight by four bread pan and line it with parchment paper. And then add your mixture and press it down with your hands so that it's all evenly distributed. It should look like this, nice and evenly distributed. And now we're going to make a nice topping. In your double boiler or your makeshift double boiler, really all you need is a pot, a little bit of water simmering on the bottom, and a glass bowl that fits right on top. Add in two ounces of dark chocolate. I'm actually going to substitute with chocolate chips. I'm using about a third of a cup. I'm a little biased to this brand because it's sweetened with stevia. Melt up your chocolate, being sure to stir it if need be. Once your chocolate is all the way melted, take it and pour it right on top of your mixture. Spread it all over the top. Okay, now let's add a little bit of crunch. I have a quarter cup of raw walnuts. Now you can use whatever nut that you prefer. Just sprinkle it right on top. And last, let's add some sea salt flakes to give it just a little bit of a salty flavor. You don't want to put too much on here. It should look something like this. Now go ahead and place it in the freezer for about 30 to 60 minutes and let it all set. Once your energy bars are nice and set, remove them from the pan. The parchment paper should make that really easy to do. And now slice them into the size bars that you would prefer. And now we're ready to plate them up. Let's give these fudge bars a try. Come on in, Brianna. Are 
Are they good? Yeah. Yeah? Better than you thought they would be, aren't they? Mm -hmm. She was a little scared because of the nuts and she actually really likes it. I can tell by the look on her face. Thanks so much for watching today. Stay connected and inspired by subscribing to our channel. And leave your comments below. I'd love to hear what you think. Until next time, be well.